In the last video, we set up the PCA objective, and in this video, we will determine our first set of optimal parameters. We make two general assumptions in the beginning. The first thing is that we have centered data. That means that the expected value of our data set is zero. And the second one is that the basis vectors form an orthonormal basis. From the previous video, we carry over the following results. First, we can write our projected data point x and tilde as a linear combination bjn times bj, where bj form the orthonormal basis of our subspace. Our loss function is the average squared reconstruction error between our original data point and the projection. And the partial derivative of our loss function with respect to x and tilde is given by this expression. And now we are ready to compute the partial derivative of j with respect to the beta i n parameters as follows. So dj with respect to d b i n is the derivative of j with respect to x and tilde times the derivative of x and tilde with respect to beta i n. So now we are going to have a closer look at this one here. So d x and tilde by d beta i n is simply given by b i for i equals 1 to m. And the reason for this is that if we take the derivative with respect to one fixed beta i n, then only the ith component of this sum will play a role. And we, that's, that's the reason why we end up simply with b i. But that also means that our derivative of j with respect to d beta i n is now given as d j by d beta i n is minus 2 over n times xn minus xn tilde transpose times bi, where we here we used equation c to get the first part, and we plugged in this bi over here. And what we're going to do now is we are going to replace xn tilde using equation a. So we end up with minus 2 over n times xn minus the sum of j equals 1 to m bjn times, so beta jn times bj transpose times bi. And this is given as minus 2 over n times xn transpose times bi minus beta in times bi transpose times bi, where we exploited that the bi form an orthonormal basis. If we multiply bi onto both components here, we end up with the sum of bjn times bj transpose times bi. And since bj transpose times bi is 1 if and only if i equals j and otherwise 0, we end up with only one term, which will be 1. So we end up with minus 2n times xn transpose bi minus beta in. So now we need to set this to 0 in order to find our beta in parameters. And this is 0 if and only if the beta i n parameters are given by x n transpose times b i, which we're going to define as equation d. What this means is that the optimal coordinates of x n tilde with respect to our bases are the orthogonal projections of the coordinates 
of our original data point onto the ith basis vector that spans our principal subspace. In this video, we determine the coordinates of the lower dimensional data as the orthogonal projection of the original data onto the basis vectors that span the principal subspace. In the next videos, we will determine the orthonormal basis that spans that principal subspace.